Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the vlog. It's Jazz and I'm so happy to be able to be doing a voiceover. Today's vlog is actually the exact opposite of last week's vlogs because I now have a voice again. If you're not caught up with last week's vlog, I completely lost my voice. I overstrained it by trying to yell over not just the music, but the construction as well. Thankfully, the construction has not returned, thus my voice has been able to fully come back and recuperate and I am so happy about that because not having a voice was really difficult, but it did make me more grateful for when I do have my voice, so there's that. But anyways, in today's vlog, I started out with a matcha and my breakfast and I had a coffee earlier, but I didn't put that in the vlog. And then I did a ballet class. This was Wednesday, I believe. I probably should have noted it down, but I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday and I had a lot of free time on Wednesday because my usual Wednesday morning client had to cancel and I still had a morning client, but I had a break from 11 until three, which was really nice. So it gave me some extra time to film some content and do a bit of a ballet class. I actually lost my point shoes recently so I'm hoping to find those because not doing point work has been very strange. I usually do point work almost every day and not being able to do that has been strange. I feel like when I put my point shoes back on, I'm gonna go through the feeling of the floor, <laughs> quite frankly, and I feel like I'm going to really feel it in my toenails after the first day of doing point work. I really don't like the feeling of toenails against the floor and the sensation of just recently wearing point shoes for the first time in a while, so I try to avoid it whenever possible. That's the reason I've been wearing point shoes since September because when you take a break from point, it's really hard to get back. Anyways, after I danced, I made some lunch so me and Steven could have lunch together and we've been recently watching Big Bang Theory. I've also been watching Girls, so that's been really fun to watch. Comment down below if you watch one of those two shows. Between Friends and Big Bang Theory, I genuinely can't decide which show is my favorite, but I love them both. They're just so much fun to watch. Grabbing the phone. Since I finished teaching, I'm just sitting here with Luna, chilling, doing some admin work. You helping? Weird because it's sunny outside, but it's raining. 
It's so weird. I'm trying to look for a rainbow because there's definitely supposed to be a rainbow when this kind of thing happens, but I don't see one yet. The following morning, I got to sleep in, which was great because I had to work later in the evening and I love mornings where I get to sleep in because most evenings I work until later anyways. Seeing as I'm a dance teacher, I have to have my hours flexible for the students because I'm revolving around the students since they're my clients and they finish school generally around two or three. So I usually start work at three a lot of the days. Obviously I have like online clients and online work that I do throughout the day, but I really try to have my mornings free so I can do skincare, I can maybe even meditate on the occasion, do a ballet class like I'm about to do here, or even just have a slow morning to get ready for class. So I have a class at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.55. And then this evening I'm teaching in the dance studio that I work in. So I need to run a few errands before that. I'm gonna go to Costco, pick up some toilet paper and paper towel because we are totally out. And I also need to pick up my prescription at Shoppers. But that's the other end from Costco. So I'll probably go there and then go there. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> so I just finished teaching my 10 a.m. class. It's currently 11.05 and I'm about to go into town to pick up toilet paper, paper towel, my prescription, and I know I need to pick up something else, but I can't remember. So I'll find out when I look at my phone now, but currently I'm using my phone to record to talk to you guys. Um, it's raining today, so I definitely want to get a hot beverage. Um, maybe before I teach tonight. Last time I went to the studio, I got a giant venti matcha and it was so good. It kept me energized throughout the night without feeling like jittery and it didn't give me a huge crash like coffee does sometimes. So it was nice to have a tea. So I think I'll do that this evening again, but I'm gonna go out into town and grab all those things I said I need to grab. Yeah, very interesting day in the life. office. It's a really nice day out too. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's perfect like sweater weather. I got Steven a ham sandwich and for myself, I got the ABC sandwich, which was apple, brie cheese, and cranberry. It was pretty good, but to be honest, I don't really like brie cheese that much. So maybe I'll get another one next time. And I also got dessert to go, which this bakery is famous for their butter tarts. So I always make sure to get butter tarts. I was really happy to see that my dose juice subscription arrived to my door when I got home. And one of the most convenient aspects about dose juice is that the juices arrive and are delivered in an insulated box that contains ice packs ensuring the freshness of the juices themselves because they were sitting out there for a couple of hours and when I took them out of the box they were still cold and the ice packs were still frozen. They're also just so convenient because when I'm on the go it's such a hassle to pack things and it's just so nice to grab something and literally go. For example, when we did our gardening, having a dose juice, keeping us refreshed, hydrated, and making sure that we're having adequate nutrition while we're doing such vigorous labor was really, really helpful. So if you're interested in trying these juices, they are Canadian based and the company is Canadian based. I will put the link in my description box down below as well as a code which you can use for 15% off. Friday evening, Steven and I planted our boxwoods and we put them a few feet apart just so that when they grow, they don't crash into one another. And I think they look much better than what was previously there. It just looks a lot cleaner, a lot crisper, 
and it really ties the yard together. The next day we went to the park and we threw a frisbee around with our friends and hung out with them and then we got ice cream on the way home. And overall we had an amazing week, an amazing weekend, and it was so much fun to hang out with our friends and to do some outdoors work. I feel like last summer I really didn't get to be outside much because I took another part-time job that was basically full-time hours. So I'm really, really excited for the summer this year because I'm not doing that job because I'm able to support myself because of you guys also. So I will just want to shout you guys out because I would not be able to have time to create if it wasn't for you. Um, last year I was not making enough to be able to say, oh, I don't need a part-time job to supplement the income from dance training. So having you guys support me and support my channel means the absolute world to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, genuinely. Having the freedom in the summer to go outside, but also to create for you guys is going to be so much fun. I can already tell I already have an entire list planned out of content that I want to create. So go ahead and comment some things that you guys want to see. I know I always say at the end of my videos, comment what you want to see next, blah, blah, blah. But I genuinely mean it. I'm going to have so much free time in the summer and I want to cater to you guys. I want to create what you guys want to see. So do you want to see more vlogs? Do you want to see more technique tips? Do you want a full ballet class? I know I've been promising that for a lot. I still need a way of figuring out the music because that's genuinely the only thing that's holding me back from doing a ballet class because it's something that I do every single day and I would love to share it online because online is free and we all love free stuff and I want to give that to you guys. But anyways, like I was saying, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Happy dancing. Let me know what you want to see next time. And as always, it's such a pleasure hanging out with you. Bye now. See you next time.